Hi everyone, my name is Leif Wallace, UX designer, and today I want to talk about the four key aspects every UX designer is always trying to achieve. So there are four main things that every UX designer is always trying to achieve. That's utility, usability, how appealing it is, and how engaging it is. Now, when we talk about utility, we're talking about how useful that app or that product is. As a digital UX designer, the focus basically is to say, if they use this product or service, does that help them achieve their desired need or goals? Sometimes you can design something, but it may not be useful to the, what that person needs or the business goals and the user needs are not aligning so the product becomes a waste of time. The usability is speaking about how easy it is to use. We basically, as UX designers, we do this thing called user journeys and user stories. We basically are mapping out from point A to B of that desired end goal, how is that journey gonna work out? What are the different touch points that that person is gonna go through? How are they gonna get from A to B in the fewest amount of steps and in the most simplest and in the most effective way? So when we break that whole process down, we're basically trying to find out based upon that user, how can we make it really, really useful for them? So when you talk about usability, we're basically trying to make it as simple as possible. Then we talk about aesthetics. It's good to make it useful in the sense that they need it to use. It's good to make it usable so that it's simple to use. But if it's not aesthetically pleasing, if it's not beautiful, if the experience is not visually appealing, then the first two become redundant. If it's not something that somebody could say, wow, this is so attractive, I could see myself using this a lot more, then you, it will be very difficult for that user to pick up or open that app again. And, and then um, your customers or your competition, sorry, I should say, will then be able to go in, look at your app and then just redesign it from the standpoint, keep everything the same, but redesign it from the standpoint of aesthetically pleasing. They can basically go in and say, wow, everything in this product is so good, but we don't, we, we can find out more things to do. But if we just make the user feel like this is so much more appealing, then by default, they will say, wow, that's how a competition could win. So a UX designer, it's their job to also make something aesthetically pleasing based upon the users and the business goal. Another thing is that it has to be engaging. Why it has to be engaging is, or another word to use is it pleasurable. If it's engaging and pleasurable especially, then not only does it allow it to be useful, allow it to be simple to be used, allow it to be aesthetically pleasing, but pleasurable, now you've got the key ingredient there. Now with pleasure, you now allow that user to build loyalty and trust for your product. Now you focus now on exceeding their needs and their desires. Now based upon what they want to achieve according to your app or your product or your service, now you need to now beat that consistently and that helps to build trust, loyalty and bring people coming back. That's why apps like Facebook, consistently growing in numbers. Um, now Snapchat, even though Facebook is becoming more aged up and more older people are using the platform, apps like Snapchat, where the younger demographic are, musically in these apps. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk is a very good person to listen to more about social media. Um, it's always now where we're seeing that if you can allow your users to come back and feel pleasure, more engaging, then you will build loyalty, you build trust, which by exceeding their expectations all the time. And now they do what is the best thing you want, which is refer. They say, hey friend, have you used this app? Without realizing it, by referring, they are saying to their friend, it is useful to use, it's easy to use, it's aesthetically pleasing, and it engages me in the ways that I really, really love. Now, I think this would be good for you. So, as a UX designer, focus on those four things. Focus on trying to consistently beat that user's expectations so that you're always in need as a designer because you understand how to work and that it's always something you want. Thank you for watching Digitive TV. And if you've liked this video today, don't forget to download my free 25 point UX design checklist. It's really great. It's a checklist that will allow you to go through some of the key things that we may forget as UX designers. And even if you are a seasoned professional, it's helpful. And if you're a beginner, then it's definitely helpful for you. So download it for free and definitely go on my Facebook and just contact me and let me know what you think about it going forward. Take care.